So I packed all my worldly goods in a cardboard suitcase. And with that wonderful audacity of youth, I went to Hollywood. Arriving there with just $40 in my pocket. Now for two months, I tramped from one studio to another, anything to, you know, crash those magic gates of big time show business. But nobody bought. Now my big brother Roy was already in Los Angeles and both of us were unemployed and neither could get a job. We solved the problem by going into business for ourselves. We established the first animated cartoon studio in Hollywood. We knew the 10 year anniversary of 9-11 was coming up. We just rolled across the country to pay tribute to those guys that gave everything. I just learned how to shift gears. I can't do this. Faced with Campbell's chunky soup, Edgar and Oscar's mother couldn't decide on the proper utensil, so she gave Edgar a fork and Oscar a spoon. Little did she know this subtle difference would have lasting repercussions. In school, Oscar played varsity sports. Edgar did not. After college, they both landed the first jobs they applied for. Nowadays, Edgar likes to take detours just to get to a fork in the road, while Oscar prefers roundabouts. For fun, Edgar likes to rake the yard, even if there are no leaves to rake, while Oscar prefers catching fish. They both love their tools, but there's one thing they love more, Campbell's Chunky Soup. And when they meet for lunch, they only need one packet of silverware. I wonder what would have happened if Mom had given me the fork. I would have gone out with Susie Kemple. And I'd be wearing that tie. Campbell's Chunky, with a fork or a spoon, soup that eats like a meal. Seventh generation gives you a diaper with premium absorbency. Our diapers are free of chlorine processing, free of fragrances and latex, free of petroleum-based lotions. So you get to decide what touches your baby's sensitive skin. Fire. 